Mateo slowly but deliberately placed his phone on the desk. He recognized that those around him heard his angry side of the conversation with Rodrigo and knew they would leave him alone. Being mad was a luxury he could not afford in this cutthroat business. However, getting even showed strength. Swiping his mustache with his fingers as if caring about his appearance, he turned toward his minions and announced, All that cargo, planning, and profit is gone. The staging area got liquidated because Toby insisted on taking a stupid kid along who wasn't bright enough to move the cargo out of harm's way. What a mess. The stupido runs from the truck and staggers to the meeting point in broad daylight. He risked being tracked to us. Mateo's anger flared. He swept his arm across the desk, catching his cell and sending it into the wall. The outer shell protector prevented the expected shattering results. His lieutenant shifted uneasily from one foot to another. One ventured forward, returning the phone to the desk. Mateo knew no one expected a thank you from him for anything, but they recognized they could avoid a 9 millimeter bullet in the neck if he didn't get madder. He sat and stared ahead as if to divine the following operational tasks. Sounds from the noisy grind of his teeth alerted the others not to break his concentration. A few minutes later, he issued orders like a machine gun. Rodrigo is hunting a new staging area for our next shipment. I need a truck, families for export, and a fentanyl mixture for the next lab, Javier. No, make that two. I want them transported from New Mexico to Arizona across the border, and the inspectors on both sides paid, like always. Santi, alert the gatherers to set the next families up for export. Alvaro, I want teenagers we can provide to Julian for his mail order service. Javier, tell Chen we need more raw materials tomorrow or the day after. Our drug buyers will be eager for supplies since this shipment got confiscated. Javier, I need standard transport papers after the initial loaded weight and the guards to sign off once you're inside the southern border. The burly, no-nonsense Santi asked, Does the import price stay the same or higher to cover their losses? <laughs>